Hi, this is David from manualbrakes.com. Uh, thanks for joining my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is my 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I debadged it. I added a Summit dual exhaust from a 5.7 liter Grand Cherokee. This 2018 is the base model, Laredo. It has a 3.6 liter, it's two wheel drive, eight speed automatic transmission. The rear gear is a 327s. And like I said, it's a base model, cloth interior. Shows the beige interior, no power or anything. Basically, it's the base model. This thing weighs a little bit over 4,500 pounds. Uh, the wheels and tires, the, the wheels are stock. The tires are 275, 60, 17s. Uh, these are Nitto 420s. They're discontinued now. Um, they don't make them anymore. Uh, debadge the front emblems off the front hood. And of course, debadge the side Grand Cherokee off the side. If you look under the hood, I did a custom air intake. Wouldn't call it a cold air intake. But um, uh, added a K&N filter. Plus an SRT uh, elbow right here from a uh, 6.4 liter 2018 SRT Grand Cherokee. Um, the only thing I had to do to this is plug it. This, this thing here, I had to plug it. I used a uh, M8 bolt to do that and screwed it in. Um, added a aluminum pipe here, and underneath here is a 90 degree elbow from the throttle body to this three inch diameter elbow here. I think that's a, a 15 degree elbow. Let me know what you think. Comment at the bottom. Uh, I'll include all the any of the uh, part numbers I use to lower this. I lowered it with a Swift Spec R uh, lowering kit. Uh, it was okay. It lowered the front about a half inch, lowered the rear about three inches. Um, but then I had to go back in on the rear and add in a one inch spacer uh, to kind of level it out. But um, I don't know if I'd go that route in the future for this base model uh, Grand Cherokee to do that. Uh, since it has the Summit uh, dual exhaust from the Grand Cherokee, couldn't find any good uh, tips to bolt onto it. So I plan to add uh, just some uh, two and a half or three inch chrome tips to come out the side. I modified the rear valence uh, to match the passenger side stock valence. And it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. I kind of uh, used the template on the passenger side and kind of replicated it over here and cut it out. But from a distance, you can't really tell if you didn't know if you were looking at it. But if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. Um, you can also go to manualbreaks.com and email me at david.schultz at manualbreaks.com. Thanks for watching.